Welcome to part four of the Vonk Ultra series. This one is a game changer. We're diving deep into modifier nodes, and whether you're animating points or syncing visuals to data, these modifiers are what turn static graphics into full-blown motion design. Anyway, if you don't know what's going on, please follow part one, two, and three before watching this video. It will be extremely helpful. Anyway, let's get straight into it. I want to explain what the unpacking and packing does, because that is what you have to do for a lot of these modifier nodes. On the regular nodes, there are are double brackets everything is grouped together but when you take the unpacker these brackets go away and allow you to put in any math expression or anything that modifies this code so then when you get a packer node it will group everything back together so you can use it for your 3d camera projections and all that let's get to the actual good stuff the first one is the convert 2d to 3d node this one takes the points and just converts it to 3d the displace value node takes all the existing points based on the values that you have here it will displace them accordingly it's kind of like the pearl and noise node but a little bit more precise the next one is interpolate you connect two different vonk nodes it will do a nice morphing transition go from the first shape to the second one and it'll automatically interpolate everything in between so it's kind of like morphing between two things so that could be really helpful for motion graphics the next thing is the array iterator it looks like it just creates some sort of looping function the points kind of decrease and it does this weird rotating thing so i think it's making some sort of loop i'm not really sure exactly what this does next we have the json map to range node so the map to range function will force all the points to be in a specified region based on the minimum and maximum values that you set so if i want everything to be on the point one all the coordinates are on the point negative one. This is the math node. It adds mathematic functions onto the points that you already have. So after you unpack it, you add in your math node. You add and subtract, it will move them on the screen based on that. And there are other operations that you can pick inside of this. So there's sine, cosine, tangents. So you actually have to have a math background and know what you're doing when you're doing stuff like this. If you want some specific effects, if you're just playing around, just have fun with it. Next, we have the points connect node if you take two regular vonk nodes so the lisa joust spline for example and i take two different ones if i unpack both of them and then connect it to the point connect node it will connect the points between these two pieces of data so that can make some really nice visuals next we have a really nice looking node called points on arc and this is pretty much like automatic smoothing for your vonk nodes so if your coordinates look really blocky like this if you increase the smoothness slider it will turn Turn everything into a curve and eventually to a completely curved line it can look really clean for your motion graphics next we have the rotate values modifier and i want you to pay attention to this number one right here when i change the rotate amount the number one will shift towards the right so it's rotating the starting point of the whole operation next is the sign modifier pretty self-explanatory it adds a sign operation to the data inside and that can give you some really nice beautiful looking animations next we have sort by distance we got a point on a cube node but using the sort by distance the lines in between them go from overlapping each other to more defined blockier lines and they're all sorted out next is the wave modifier this will turn it into a sine wave you have your period and strength all the controls for signs are in right here. Next, we have the translate modifier. This is pretty much like the transform node, but for Vonk. So this is gonna be very helpful for animations because you can't really do animations if you can't move things around. But I'm telling you guys, when you open up Fusion and start practicing it, you will pick it up very quickly. These modifier nodes, all you gotta do is just figure out, do I need an unpacker? Do I need a packer? That's it. And if you ever get lost in between it at the top, it will show you if you need an unpacker and a packer for the node. So this concludes part four of the Vonk Ultra tutorial series. Thank you so much to all the people that put hard work into making this possible. And this is absolutely amazing. Till then, adios guys.